A family of seven who was forced out of their Harrisburg home after it was deemed unlivable. They'll have a new place to live after they received more than $20,000 in donations from the community. Fox 43's Paula Belloso spoke to the family who says a huge weight has been lifted off their shoulders. Ebony Rogers moved to her Harrisburg home with her six children in January of this year. Not long after moving in, they started having problems that ranged from heating. They've shut certain parts of the house off from actually being able to provide heat just because it simply needs to be replaced altogether. To leaks. It's all been shot from all this water that's like just stained. I've tried to get them to come out all year for the roof, for the water leak in the bathroom. The shower and the toilet water had leaked um, for a really long time for the toilet. Uh, for the shower, any hot water or any cleaning product we put on it, it would just eat the paint away right away. After having no luck trying to get the leasing agent to fix the issues in her home, she reached out to the Harrisburg Bureau of Codes in November for help. Next thing she knew, her house was deemed unlivable. To get that news overnight, it's like, wait, slow down. Wait a minute, you know, and... It was, that was it. That was the end of it. A Harrisburg organization put Ebony and her kids in a hotel for the time being. She says her family has received a lot of support and donations from close family and friends. But a friend of Ebony's wanted to do more. She decided to start a GoFundMe. They were able to raise $24,583. I wasn't able to sleep when they condemned my property, but it's like, I'm not able to sleep now because it's like, I cannot believe that. So many have poured out so much support. Like, I'm grateful. Ebony says she plans to use the money that they were able to raise to buy a home. I'm grateful um, that they helped alleviate a huge burden of that stress and to getting us off to a fresh start of a new year. In Harrisburg, Paula Belloso, Fox 43 News.